Okay, so what you need to know about Python is that it doesn't really have arrays in the same way that other programming languages use arrays. So when we talk about arrays in Python, we're usually talking about a list. But Python also has something called a tuple. And it can get a little bit confusing. But you can see here from simplylearn.com, there's a nice breakdown between the difference what's a list and what's a tuple. So you can see here, lists are mutable. What does that mean? Well, it means we can change them. We can add things to them. We can take things away from them. We can change them. We can just create empty ones and then add things into them if we want to later on and then delete them if we don't want them in there anymore. Whereas tuples, which are in the curly brackets, they're not mutable, so they're fixed. Now, there are times when you will want just to use a fixed number of things in a list, and that's when tuples are probably a little bit better. They're a little bit faster. They're less likely to go wrong because of the, the, you know, the fact that you can't change them. So if you're iterating through a list, you might find it takes longer than the tuple. If you're um, wanting to insert and delete items, then you're going to need a uh, list because tuples don't really do that. Lists can consume more memory, um, but lists also have these extra methods built in that tuples don't have, which means that sometimes you will definitely want to use a list. And if an unexpected error occurs in a list, it's going to throw an error. But you can't ever really have an unexpected change in a tuple because, because you can't change them. So just so you understand, when you see square brackets, you're talking lists. When you see curly brackets, you're talking tuples. Now, curly brackets are often um, used as well. You know, your kind of standard braces, they're often also used um, in uh, mathematical operators as well. So you will see them used there. So let's just have a look. So rarely do you see these kind of squiggly braces um, being used in, in this way, in lists and tuples. It's nearly always um, these standard kind of curly braces if you're, if you're using tuples and square braces if you're using a list. So to show you what I mean, we've got this new um, Python thing called dot append. And what does that do? Well, it adds things to the existing list. So if I just do control L and clear the shell. So what I've said here is I've got a variable that I've called tuple colors and they're just red, blue and green and they're in the, the kind of standard braces there. And then I've got a list of colors and they're in the square brackets. So what I've done is I've said, take tuple colors and append or add to the list the color orange. So let's run it. Oh no, we got an error on line five. Why? Because tuple has no attribute append. Can't change a tuple fixed in place. Can I change the list? Well, the web page we looked at a minute ago told us it was mutable. So let's run it. Now, we haven't actually seen anything happen. But if I was now to print my list of colors and run it, I've got red, blue, green, orange. Why? Because it started off with the original list of red, blue, and green. So just to show you that this is doing what it's supposed to, I'm just going to get it to print it here and then print it again here. So run. Red, blue, green, that's my original list of colors. And then I've appended orange, printed it again, red, blue, green, and now orange. So sometimes lists are better than tuples, especially if you want to make changes. And sometimes tuples are better than lists. So if you've got a set number of things and you just want it to be a little bit quicker, then tuples are probably better. So you just have to kind of choose in uh, the scenario you're working in, which one's the best for the job.